TV. What's up, Yu-Gi-Oh! Universe? It's Julian here, and today I'm with Ricky Sanchez, who got second place in the Digimon Box Tournament at the Collector's Vault. Digimon, digital monsters, Digimon are the champions! Ricky, what did you do today, and how'd you do it, man? Uh, I played Dream today. Uh, we got, I believe, second, technically. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And we just played... We just played a green deck that I've been messing with a little bit. Uh, I made a few changes last minute, and there's a few changes that can be made that I replaced through this event. Okay, well that's good, that's good. Um, and do you remember any of your matchups you had today? Yeah, so my first matchup was against uh, Red Omnimon, but with uh, the War Greymon, like starter deck stuff. Uh, that matchup was, I think we went two and one. We went two and one a lot today. Um, the real key to it was uh, we uh, we puppet mon him three turns in a row. Oh shoot! <laughs> so he Dang. wasn't allowed to play the game until I said so. <laughs> Dang. And then uh, my second game was against I think it was Rookie Rush. Yeah, okay, dude. Oh okay. Uh, I know one of my games was Rookie Rush. Rookie Rush that matchup was just slam down our blockers and just kill their stuff and then slam down a Rosemon get it in rest or. or and suspended so that way every attack cost them two rookies and we would block one of them and eat it and they would get nothing out of the value uh, or out of the trade and then our second matchup had to have been i think it was the winner with the uh, the red omnimon we lost that matchup to oh uh, he got he got the two but um we lost that matchup uh our game two i opened up with i believe three megas one tamer and i think one champ so it was really rough, that matchup. Um, yeah. Yeah, we just, man, we just need more practice, I think. <laughs> hey, not too bad for last minute changes, right? Mm-hmm. Any, yeah, um, any ch well, we'll get into the changes. What were you saying? Uh, yeah, it, it just, man, it just needs more practice, I think. Uh, I think green's really good right now. It just, it has a lot of the tech stuff, like Puppetmon, Flower Cannons, uh, Mimi's being able to rookie rush them, uh, abusing that, and yeah, no, that's basically it. Okay. Any shout outs you want to give today? Yeah, I want to shout out uh, uh, my YouTube channel or me and my friend's YouTube channel, Mid Tier Gaming, where we mainly focus on DBS. We're trying to translate over to Digimon right now. Uh, we just want to feel more comfortable with the game, I think. Cool. We'll make sure you guys check out Mid Tier Gaming down in the description below. Um, and yeah, let's get into your profile, man. Let's get right into it. All right. So I guess we start off with the Digitamas. We have the one Freemon, or Frymon, and then four Tanmons. Um, Tanmons really help get us the extra 1K. That's one thing that green really lacks is getting the power. Uh, the Frymon is just to fill up the fifth slot, but it also comes in handy some cases when we get Rosemon on board, because since they're attacking and then getting one suspended, it triggers and gives the 2K buff. So okay. that's the reasoning behind the Digitamas. Uh, then we play, I believe, 16 rookies, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. We play four Palmons, four Kuwagamons, four A Agumons, and then three Goblinmons. Uh, so that should be 15, actually. My bad. Okay. Um, yeah, the Goblinmons are here just to... 2k easy drop uh sometimes it's a free evolve uh the main ones we evolve into are the agumon and kuwagamons man that's uh, a cute agumon yeah he's, <laughs> he's a real cutie but um the main, the main reason we go into these two is for the inheritables because we did evolve quite a bit and quite frequently so we want to get the as much inheritable and as much value out of our evolving as possible uh, the Goblinmons are mainly just there, get an extra thing off of their security, and the Palmons are there to search out when we break uh, for our four drops, uh, okay. our level fours. So, here's those. Anything you would change in that, or are you pretty happy um, with it? I'm pretty content. Uh, originally, I was playing only three Quaggas, but I realized that four is the way to go, because the plus one security attack really helps. Uh, it really combos well with uh, one of our ultimates in the deck. Okay. And then... If anything, maybe take out a Goblinmon for another uh, Puppetmon, if anything. So moving into our level fours, we have two Ogremons for the jamming, two Togemons for the search for our Puppetmons and stuff. Uh, then we have the three Woodmons for blocks and four Kabuterimons. Um, Kabuterimon we have as a four of because he's the cheapest evolution in green for four. And he also gives us a 1000 DP boost with oh, yeah. uh, every suspended Digimon, which really stacks up uh, when they 
swarm the board. So it's really good. And then the Ogre Mons, of course, jamming is just good. Um, in one of my matchups, it w came in real handy because I would just block out their attacks and then I would just jamming and I'd be safe. Um, yeah, no, Ogre Mon in that matchup put a lot of work. I think it was against, it might've been Rookie Rush. I don't know for sure. It was one of the matchups, but Togemon, again, like I said, searches out our Mega, searches out our level fives uh, for two, isn't bad. Uh, I just had to keep making sure the Digimon, when they were rookies, they came up to the play area. So that way they didn't whiff the effect because if they're uh, in the breeding area, they don't get their digivolving effect. That's right, yeah. And then uh, Woodmons, just because blockers are really helpful in this game and they're vital necessities. Uh, and just to add more champs instead of running more Ogre Mons. I also was short some Togemons, so I might bump the Togemon count up. Maybe switch out a Kabu for a Togu, but I'm not too sure. Okay. Uh, I like the ratios right now. Cool. Next ones are, we got our level fives here. We run very little level fives. We run only seven, so it's four cherries for more blockers. And then we run three Jagas. Um, Jagamon with Kuagamon is a really good combo that I really like. So Jagamon, when attacks, it'll trigger. You look at your top three, grab a level six Digimon and you Digivolve on top of it. So when you become a level six, it would trigger the Kuagamon giving it the security attack plus one. So you hit for two instead of one, which they're probably anticipating the one, but if you end up hitting the Mega, you end up hitting for two instead which sometimes is lethal for your opponent. Mm, yeah, I didn't even know that, that's awesome. Yeah, it's really good. Um, and then we also, for our Megas, we are running three Puppets. Like I said earlier, I might bump it up to four, maybe drop down like a Cobbleterrymon or something, or maybe a Jogamon. But I think Jogamon's pretty good. I think maybe if anything, Goblinmon actually. Mm. Uh, but yeah, Puppetmon wins games. It's, in my opinion, it's Too one strong. of the- Yeah, it's one of the best cards in this game, in my opinion. Floodgating your opponent for and then gaining a memory every time this card turns sideways, I don't, I don't know, man. That's really strong. I don't think it's anything to really mess around with. I think that needs to be a four of an almost any deck, three or four of in almost any deck, in my opinion. And then two Rosemonds. Uh, Rosemond is just there so that way if we go up against aggro decks, they are forced to tap down two Digimon instead of one. And then on top of that, it's good defense for whenever they spam out the board. And then two Rusts. Rust did not come up a single time today. <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed. The one time I played it, it instantly died. Oh, uh, and I played it for 13, so it really hurt. Wow. Ow. Um, but I mainly put it in because I felt like the deck needed a little bit more removal. Because he just eats Digimon that are in unsuspended. So And then suspends one. So it, in my opinion, it's good. But I don't know. Man, it, you it might just, cut it. Yeah, I, I might cut it because it's too heavy, man cost too much. I might cut it for another one of the Titamons. Okay. Digivolving for two is really good, especially in a deck that Digivolves a lot. And if you hit this off the Jogamon, you're potentially hitting for, what is it, 12 plus one security. If maybe with this, it'd be 13. So the only things really stopping you are Millenniumon and anything that deletes Digimon. And then Omnion. Those are the only things probably stopping you out of their security. So probably bump him up. Maybe take out the Tyrannos completely and run him. I don't know. I just like the art for Tyrannomon, so. Yeah, it looks really cool. <laughs> yeah. And then we got our four Tamers. We run four Mimis. Um, in the situations where we drop Puppetmon and we have no board, Mimi really helps reco uh, recover board and really start spamming out. Uh, especially since we have a bit of a rookie rush going on here. This helps us get there faster and it helps us hatch eggs faster so we draw faster and see our puppets and other stuff faster. Um, Mimi basically just accelerates the deck. You want to see her early game. If you don't, it's fine, but you do not want to get locked. She also helps you not get locked down to one or two memory. So she's really good. Uh, she needs to be ran in decks. Mm -hmm. We got three Flower Cannons. Um, flower Cannon, it, it's kind of the same thing with Puppetmon. It's kind of a floodgate. If they don't have, if they have Digimon that don't have Blocker, everything gets suspended basically. Um, and then worst case scenario, you pay two if it's in your hand and then you tap something and then just eat it with like the Rose or the Titamon. You can even eat it with these little seven Ks if they're small guys. So Flower Cannon, I would also bump it up to four, but I only have the three for today. Okay. And then we have two Forbidden Temptations. Uh, this card is a weird one. I didn't really like it at first, but after actually using it, it's really good. So essentially you can pay four to make one of their Digimons unable to block or unable to attack. And then when you flip it out of security, it does what Puppetmon does, where it locks everything on board. 
in Rex. Oh, wow. So you can actually combo Flowermon, or Flowermon, Flower Cannon with it. So you can rest another Digimon and this, if they hit it off the security, it locks all of them. Even the Digimon that was rested by Flower Cannon, or Flower Cannon, yeah. Um, this card, I think I might keep it in. Uh, not too sure. I really like it though. I think I might bump it to three, but I'm not too sure. But yeah, that's basically the deck. Okay. And you're pretty happy with all the changes they would make or would it make? Yeah, so if anything, <clears throat> another puppet over here and then maybe run three Titamon Titamons instead of the one. If anything, maybe that. Hey, it did pretty good for you though, right? So. Yeah, um, yeah, no, it did really good against most of my matchups. Uh, I went against the Mirror Green. We had, we did really well against the Mirror Green because we basically just made sure they didn't keep a board and then start chipping them away. Cool. Awesome. Anything else you want to finish off with, Ricky? Um, yeah, try out a uh, Digimon. It's a really good card game. Um, and then come down to the Collector's Vault, play some games. Uh, we're always here. Uh, if you guys are into Super, come down. We also do Super here. It's really fun. Um, other than that, I think that's it. Sh uh, shout out to the boys from Ham er, Hamford and Tulare. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Awesome, Ricky. Thank you so much, man. Digiverse, if you enjoyed this content, you know what to do. Remember to obliterate that like button. Don't delete it. Ricky, thank you so much, man. Hopefully we'll see you soon in the winner's circle again, getting first place. Hopefully. <laughs> Peace.